Hey guys, I am going to teach you how to understand your money personality. Yesterday you should have taken a quiz about whether you are a free spirit or a nerd. And I'm going to be giving you those results very shortly, but you probably know, um, have a little bit of an idea of which one of those you are. So, values and attitudes. How do your values relate to money? That's um, a question that is really matters depending on how you spend your money. How do those values relate to money? If, if you value security, you're more likely to be a saver. If you value freedom and, and spontaneity, then you're probably more likely to spend. If you like to just go out and do stuff without having to plan that, then you probably aren't really going to be that great at organizing or even want to organize. Handling money, it's pretty difficult to balance who you are with what you should do. Being aware of your money personality will help you create a plan to accommodate both. When it comes to relating with others about money, it's important to also consider their values. They might be con completely different than who you are, and that's going to change the way they look at money. So, men and women, typically we're pretty completely opposite. God made us different. <laughs> God made us different, and, and that's just how, how we were created. We are opposite. Some of our personalities may be the same. But typically, men and women are going to be completely different. So, men and women generally approach things uh, um, differently, and, and money is one of those. There, we, we approach, men and women approach things in different ways. Not all men and women will relate to money in this way, but there are some patterns that have proved themselves over and over again. So in a second, we're going to talk about some of those patterns. But the flow of money in a family represents the value system under which the family operates money is going in your bank account should indicate what is important to that family. So whatever you're spending your money on is probably the most important. And right now as we're quarantined for the most part in our houses, we're probably spending most of our money on fast food. I know I looked at mine the other day and I'm so sick of eating at home that I, I, I'm continuously spending money on fast food and I was looking at my bank account and it was like, it was like Chick-fil-A, Subway, Sonic, like everything seemed to be, <laughs> seemed to be food. So um, right now, I guess, um, all my money seems to indicate that food is the most important thing to me. But I think right now it's probably a an exception because we can't do a lot right now besides our schoolwork and working from home. So a couple of things that, like what I was talking about with the patterns for men and women, a couple of those things that seem to um, have a pattern is this. With emergency fund spendings. This is what a man, what a man would say. With a, an emergency fund spending. A man may say... It seems to be the, the um, pattern for what a man would say in this case. It's boring and, and not sophisticated enough. So that seems to be what a man says. It's boring and not sophisticated enough. And a woman tends to say, It's the most important key to our financial plan. So a man... It's boring and not sophisticated enough. And the woman, it's the most important key to our financial plan. So I feel like that's probably pretty accurate. It's kind of funny how accurate that is. When it comes to shopping, men are probably going to get good deals by negotiating. They're, they're, they're um, typically going to be pretty competitive. So they want to um, negotiate to get a better price. But with women, women are going to get deal good deals by hunting and hunting and hunting and hunting. 
and go into all these different stores until it may be hours and hours but they are going to hunt until they find the best deal and they enjoy that process of shopping and then also financial problems Men lose when when your your family is having financial problems. Men typically tend to lose self esteem when um, when money problems pop up because money usually represents a scorecard to them. So they get really self conscious in this case, and women experience fear and some may even call it terror when money problems arise because with women money usually represents security so this can be very very scary for them so that is um, understanding your money personality and don't forget that I am going to give you your results for your quiz on whether you're free spirited or a nerd and I would love for you to kind of guess before I give you those results to see if you are correct. Um, you do have a journal question today and it is, have you ever witnessed money affecting a relationship close to you? So really think about that and don't forget that you need to comment on one post and it needs to be something challenging. Don't just say, hey, good post. It needs to be something like, Hey, um, I'm sorry that that happened to you or, or that your parents are really affected by this money situation. What did you do to encourage them or what, what something like that? It needs to be a possible question or maybe something challenging.